Oh, I'm sorry, I, 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 was, I was supposed to introduce uh, Al Romig. I thought you'd been introduced before, Al. Uh, Al Romig, Executive Officer uh, of the Academy since March 2015. He, re he retired from, uh, from Lockheed Martin, <coughs> where he was the uh, head skunk at the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works in, in California. And, and uh, he'd been there for five years, for formerly at Sandia before that. Uh, and he has replaced uh, Lance Davis, who was a 16-year member or so as the executive officer. So now the clever uh, presentations of names and so forth will now fall upon Al Romig that, that Lance has done so effectively for so many years. All right, Al, you. you're introduced. You. <laughs> so, as, so as Dan said, my name's Al, I am not Lance Davis. I saw, I saw Lance last night, I, I assume he's probably here today, but if you run into Lance, uh, make sure you say one, uh, say hello to him, and two, thank him for uh, 16 wonderful years of service to the Academy in the Executive Officer role. Um, he certainly set a very high bar for what we're doing here today, and I'm just going to try to live up to that. Um, you know, we're extremely proud of our new members, and we're also proud of our longtime serving members. If you look in the back of the induction book, what you'll find is a list of names of folks that are celebrating significant anniversaries. So when I read your name, I'd like to have you stand and wave to the audience, uh, and then you may sit down. And, but then when I, I'd like to have you all hold your applause. Actually, why don't you just stay standing up? But then I'd like to have you hold your applause audience until they're all standing, uh, and then we can, we can uh, uh, congratulate them all at once. So at 35 years of membership, Eric Block, Ray Decker, who I have seen, um, Herbert Richardson. At 30 years, we have Alfred Cho, Ron Latanison, and Ponacero Sumasundaran. At 25 years of service, we have Paul Gray, Arthur Hoyer, Norman Lee, Thomas Russell, Norman Scott, and Loring Wiley. Let's congratulate them all on their years of membership. <laughs> well, as Dan and Chad both said earlier, this really is a terrific occasion. We are here to celebrate and acknowledge excellence in engineering. We're celebrating the marvelous contributions that the engineers in this class have made in research, in developing innovations, manufacturing, education, creation of novel technologies, and designing solutions to real world problems. I think you know how competitive this process actually is. Dan alluded to that. But from personal experience, prior to assuming this job, I was the chair of the Committee of Membership last year. So I know how talented this actual class is. And by the way, if you'd like to leave a gratuity of thanks, I promise I will split it with the Academy. <laughs> when you come upon the stage, one of the things that you will receive are one of these blue rosettes. And I thought I would share with you a bit of the history of the blue rosette, which really is emblematic of the membership in the National Academy of Engineering. Dan cited our history going back to the National Academy of Sciences in 1863, and it's an organization that is meant to utilize the talents of the nation's preeminent scientists, engineers, and physicians, and in the case of this academy, those that are in fact engineers. Well, an emblem had to be created, and in fact, this was copied from the French, in fact, from the French Legion of Honor, and the story of it is as follows. For centuries, rosettes have stood as an emblem of membership in a select group. The NAE rosette is based on the design of the French Legion of Honor Medal. The blue pen pin has been given to newly elected members of the, and foreign members of the National Academy since the late teen, 1970s. You might wonder why the French Legion of Honor? Well, that was created in 1802 by Napoleon, and it was meant to honor service in the French military. Now, interestingly enough, the U.S. Department of Defense and its predecessors are very important utilizers of the talents of the Academy, so perhaps it's not, uh, it's not all that uh, misplaced, but it, the Rosette has actually grown over time to be emblematic of membership of any select group, and you certainly are a select group. 
So I think for all of you, those of you who attend this meeting, you know we take great efforts to introduce people by properly pronouncing the names. I think Lance probably set this tradition, and I intend to try to follow through on it. And I will tell you that between talking to you, listening to voicemail, talking to your assistants or your colleagues, I'm going to try my very best, despite my American accent, no doubt, to do that. There are only two of you that almost got introduced by your phone number, because I couldn't get a hold of a person that actually knew your name. But I finally did. So what I'm going to do is read the name, the affiliation, and the election citation for the new members. And then for the foreign members, they'll then come to the stage and receive their, their certificate. When you are finished, for those that are you that are members, Tom Budinger, our Home Secretary, is over in the table, and I will ask you to sign the membership rolls. When we get to the foreign members, Ruth David will come up and we'll do the same thing for the foreign members. Please do not forget to sign. That occasionally happens. We have to lasso you and cart you back up into the stage to sign if indeed that happens. So our staff will make sure that uh, people line up in an organized fashion in alphabetical order. Um, we'll make sure that you remove your badge when you're up here so it doesn't glare when we take the photographs. You'll come up the stairs here to my left, pass in front of the podium, stand between Dan and Chad. You'll have your photograph taken for posterity. Who knows what post office wall it might appear on. <laughs> and then from there, as I said, move over to Tom to sign the books or else you'll be lassoed and brought back. So, we know that there were a few members who in, in advance uh, told us they wouldn't be able to attend. We also know that we may have some last minute uh, people who couldn't make it because of the bad weather that we had. So, we'll try to deal with that as we move, move along. Um, only those that said they would be here will be introduced and if there's someone whose name pops up and they didn't get here, they got caught by the storm and didn't make it. So, I'm going to again, once again, ask you to hold your applause until we have done the entire, the entire class. So, let us start. First, we have Harry A. Atwater, Jr., Howard Hughes Professor of Applied Physics and Material Science, Department of Applied Physics and Material Science, California Institute of Technology, cited for contributions to plasmonics. Next, Hari Balakrishnan, Professor of Computer Science, Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for contributions to wired and wireless networks and distributed systems. Abu <laughs> Bardats, President, Zool Associates in Lubrication, LLC for novel automotive lubricants, low emission engine development, and education of engineering professionals. <laughs> Sangeeta Bhatia, John J. 1929, and Dorothy Wilson Professor, Institute of Medical Engineering and Science, Massachusetts Institute of Technology for tissue engineering and tissue regeneration technology, stem cell differentiation, and preclinical drug evaluation. <laughs> Next, Cheryl R. Blanchard, Chief Executive Officer, Microchips Biotech Incorporated, for creation and commercialization of biomaterial products and gender-based medical devices for musculoskeletal health. Kevin Bocut, Senior Technical Fellow and Chief Scientist of Hypersonics, Boeing Research and Technology, The Boeing Company, for development and demonstration of air-breathing hypersonic vehicles and implementation of design optimization methods. <laughs> Jonathan D. Bray, Faculty Chair in Earthquake Engineering Excellence, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, University of California, Berkeley, for contributions to earthquake engineering and advances in mitigation of surface faulting, liquefaction, and seismic slope failure. Emery N. Brown, 
The Warren M. Zappel Professor of Anesthesia Department, Department of Anesthesia and Critical Care, Harvard Medical School, Massachusetts General Hospital, for development of neural signal processing algorithms for understanding memory encoding and modeling of brain states of anesthesia. <laughs> Wesley G. Bush, Chairman, Chief Executive Officer and President, Northrop Grumman Corporation for engineering leadership and national security. <laughs> Jonathan P. Calkins, Professor of Operations Research and Public Policy, Heinz College, Carnegie Mellon University, for contributions to the analysis, modeling, and engineering of drug policy in the United States and abroad. Anantha Chandra Kassan, Department Head and Joseph F. and Nancy P. Keithley Professor of Electrical Engineering, Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for development of low power circuit and system design methods. <laughs> Santosh K. Das, Retired Vice President, Polymer Technologies Incorporated, for understanding of the composition, structure, property, and processing interrelationships of rapidly solidified amorphous and microcrystalline alloys. <laughs> Ingrid Dobishi, James B. Duke Professor of Mathematics, Mathematics Department, Duke University, for contributions to the mathematics and applications of wavelets. Deepakraj M. Devon, Professor, School of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Georgia Institute of Technology, for design and commercialization of advanced power conversion technologies for improved quality and controllability of the power grid. <laughs> Derek Ellsworth, Professor of Energy and Geoenvironmental Engineering, Departments of Energy and Mineral Engineering and Geosciences, Pennsylvania State University, for contributions to understanding natural processes affecting flow and transport properties of fractured rocks. <laughs> Eric D. Evans, Director, Lincoln Laboratory, Massachusetts Institute of Technology for development of remote sensing systems, improvised explosive device, IED detection, and ship anti-missile defense. <laughs> Raymond J. Fonk, Steenbach Professor of Physical Science and Professor of Engineering Physics, Department of Engineering Physics, University of Wisconsin, Madison for advances in fusion plasma spectroscopy diagnostics and leadership of the U.S. fusion program into the burning plasma era. <laughs> Tahir Ghani, Senior Fellow, Intel Corporation, for development of transistor technologies for logic products. Morteza Mori Garib, Hans W. Liepman Professor of Aeronautics and Bio-Inspired Engineering, California Institute of Technology, for contributions to fluid flow diagnostics and imagery and engineering of bio-inspired devices and phenomena. <laughs> Bert Girard. Robert L. and Audrey S. Hancock, Professor of Electrical Engineering, Department of Electrical Engineering, Stanford University, for contributions to video compression, streaming, and multimedia systems. <laughs> Karen K. Gleason, Associate Provost and Alexander and I. Michael Kosser, Professor of Chemical Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. For invention, application development, scale up, and commercialization of chemically vapor deposited composites. <laughs> D. 
Dan M. Goebel, Senior Research Scientist, Advanced Propulsion Technology Group, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Caltech. For contributions to low temperature plasma sources for thin film manufacturing, plasma material interactions, and electric propulsion. Robert H. Grubbs, Victor and Elizabeth Atkins Professor of Chemistry, Division of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, California Institute of Technology, for developments in catalysts that have enabled commercial products. <laughs> Supertik Guha, Director, Nanoscience and Technology Division, Argonne National Laboratory, and Professor, Institute for Molecular Engineering, University of Chicago. For contributions to field effect transistor technology that allow continued scaling of silicon microelectronics. <laughs> Ronald O. Hamburger, Senior Principal, Simpson, Gumperts, and Hager, Inc for advances in seismic design principles and practices for buildings through research and development of codes and guidelines. <laughs> Robert E. Henry, retired senior vice president, Fauske and Associates, LLC, for understanding and analysis of severe power reactor accidents and their impact on design and accident management. Janet G. Herring, Director, Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology, for contributions to understanding and practice of removal of inorganic contaminants from drinking water. <laughs> J. Jim Shea, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Schumann Laser, Inc for development and commercialization of long wavelength lasers for fiber optic communications. <laughs> Ming Shea, CEO and Chairman, Fulgent Therapeutics, for development and commercialization of biometric identification systems. S. Jack Hu, J. Reed and Polly Anderson Professor of Manufacturing, Department of Mechanical Engineering, University of Michigan, for methods of, for predicting and diagnosing root causes of product quality variations in multi-stage assembly systems. <laughs> Thomas M. Johns, Granger Professor of Power Electronics and Electrical Machines, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, University of Wisconsin-Madison, for advancement of permanent magnet machines and drives for transportation and industrial applications. <laughs> Milan Yovanovitch, Senior Vice President, Research and Development, Delta Products Corporation, for efficiency improvements of AC-DC power supplies and information technology systems. Robert L. Kleinberg, Schlumberger Fellow, Schlumberger Dahl Research, for contributions to formulation, evaluation, and development of pulse nuclear magnetic resonance logging. John Clear, Director, Global Research and Development, the Dow Chemical Company for contributions to novel coatings, polymer dispersions, and low volatile organic compounds technologies. <laughs> Leonard F. Conical, Scientist Emeritus, U.S. Geological Service, for modeling of coupled ground and surface water flow and of solute transport in groundwater. Ellen J. Kuhlman, Chair of the Board and Chief Executive Officer, E.I. DuPont de Moores and Company, for leadership in the business growth and transformation of a global science and engineering company.
Nils Longberg, Senior Vice President, Immuno-Oncology and Biologics Discovery, Bristol Myers Squibb, for development of fully human monoclonal antibody therapeutics using innovative transgenic expression systems. <laughs> Philip Lee Fan Liu, Class of 1912 Professor of Engineering, School of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Cornell University, for coastal engineering research, education, computer modeling, and leadership. Did we miss? Did I miss one? Yes. Which one did I miss? Philip. You just said his name. Yes. That's what I'm, I'm doing right now. Yes. I'm the right one. Yes. Here we go. For coastal engineering research, education, computer modeling, and leadership for tsunami and wave damage. Okay. Brian McClendon, Vice President of Engineering, Google Inc. For strategic, technical, and managerial leadership resulting in widespread, accurate, and useful geographic information. I'm going to wait till I see the slide. <laughs> Next slide. Good. <laughs> Samir Mitragotri, Professor of Chemical Engineering, Chemical Engineering Department, University of California, Santa Barbara, for development, clinical translation, and commercialization of transdermal drug delivery systems. George Molner, Vice President of the Board, the Aerospace Corporation, for leadership in the research, design, and development of advanced air and space vehicles. <laughs> Kyle J. Myers, Director of Imaging, Diagnostics, and Software Reliability. Office of Science and Engineering Laboratories, Food and Drug Administration, for development of analytical and regulatory science methods for accuracy and safety of medical imaging devices. <laughs> Radia J. Perlman, Fellow, EMC Corporation, for contributions to internet routing and bridging protocols. Dana A. Powers, Senior Scientist, Sandia National Laboratories, for contributions to commercial nuclear power, plant safety worldwide, and to radioactive source term processes. Clayton J. Radke, Professor of Chemical Engineering, Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, University of California, Berkeley for understanding of mixed wettability and foam-enhanced oil recovery through thin film and poor scale models. <laughs> Guru Swami Ravi Chandran, John E. Good, Jr. Professor, Graduate Aerospace Laboratories, California Institute of Technology, for contributions to mechanics of dynamic deformation, damage, and failure of engineering materials. J. N. Reddy, Distinguished Professor and Oscar S. Wyatt, Jr., Endowed Chair in Mechanical Engineering, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Texas A&M University, College Station, for contributions to composite structures and to engineering education and practice. <laughs> L. Raphael Reif, President, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for technical and educational contributions for, leadership, for university leadership. <laughs> Virginia M. Ramati, Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer, IBM Corporation, for strategic applications of systems engineering and leadership in development of services science and its application to business processes.
Daniela Roos, Andrew and Irma Viterbi Professor, Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for contributions to distributed robotic systems. David J. Shrolovitz, Joseph Bordonia, Professor of Engineering and Applied Science, Department of Material Science and Engineering, University of Pennsylvania, for theory and simulation of microstructure and properties of materials and leadership in computational materials engineering. <laughs> Graham L. Stevens, Director, Center for Climate Sciences, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, for elucidation of Earth's cloud system and radiation balance. <laughs> Virginia C. Salzberger, retired Director of Engineering, North American Electric Reliability Corporation, for leadership and development of electric power system reliability standards. Richard Slisky, Distinguished Scientist, Microsoft Corporation, for contributions to computer vision, computer graphics, and interactive image and video rendering. <laughs> Thoros Theodoro, Professor of Chemical Engineering, Department of Material Science and Engineering, School of Chemical Engineering, National Technical University of Athens for statistical mechanical based strategies and simulation algorithms to predict the structures and properties of polymers and zeolites. <laughs> Michael J. Todd, Leon C. Welsh Professor Emeritus, School of Operations Research and Information Engineering, Cornell University, for contributions to the theory and application of algorithms for continuous optimization. Gavin M. Toller, Chief Technical Officer and Vice President, Research and Development, UOP LLC, for process designs for commercial petrochemicals and for leadership in refining and chemical research. <laughs> Michael Zapatas, Professor and Amundsen Chair, Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis for design and synthesis of zeolite-based materials for selective separation and reaction. <laughs> Harry L. Bantrees, University Professor Emeritus, George Mason University, for contributions to detection, estimation, and modulation theory and leadership of defense communication systems. Norman J. Wagner III, Robert L. Pigford Chair of Chemical Engineering, Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, University of Delaware, for understanding flow-induced microstructural transitions in complex liquids and invention of ballistic-resistant fabrics by strain-hardening suspensions. <laughs> Mark R. Wisner, Department Chair and James L. Miriam Professor and Director, Center for, of, the, of Environmental Implications of Nanotechnology, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Duke University, for contributions to membrane technologies for water treatment and understanding of environmental behavior and risk of nanomaterials. <laughs> Eric F. Wood. Susan Dodd Brown, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Princeton University, for development of land surface models and use of remote sensing for hydrological modeling and, and prediction. <laughs> James J. Wynn, Program Manager, Local Education Outreach Research Headquarters, IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center, for co-invention of eczema laser surgery for vision correction procedures. <laughs> Vigor Yang, 
William R. T. Oates, Professor and Chair, School of Aerospace Engineering, Georgia Institute of Technology, for contributions to combustion physics and propulsion systems and to aerospace engineering education. <laughs> David D. Yao, Sambatko Family Professor, Industrial Engineering and Operations Research, Columbia University for understanding of stochastic systems and their application in engineering and service operations. <laughs> Ajit P. Yoganathan, Wallace H. Coulter, Distinguished for Faculty Chair and Regents Professor and Associate Chair of Research, Coulter Department of Biomedical Engineering, Georgia Institute of Technology, for improvements in the biomechanics of prosthetic heart valves and the development of heart repair devices. Okay, we will now wait for Ruth David. You can put your gratuities in the blue bowl up there. I promise I'll share them. <laughs> All right. Now, our class of 2015 foreign members. Patrick Crevea, full professor of pharmacy, Institute Galleon, University of Paris South, for advances in nanomedicine and commercialization of targeted nanotechnology systems for cancer treatment. R. Allen Fries, President, R. Allen Fries Engineering Incorporated, for numerical modeling, stochastic subsurface hydrology, risk assessment, and optimization for groundwater engineering. <laughs> Lynn F. Gladden, Shell Professor of Chemical Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology, University of Cambridge for contributions to chemical reactor engineering through the uniquely specific application of magnetic resonance imaging. <laughs> Graham J. Jameson, Laureate Professor and Director, Center for Multiphase Processes, University of Newcastle, for the development of innovative flotation technology for advanced mineral processing. Amable Lignan, Professor Emeritus, Polytechnic University of Madrid, for discoveries using asymptotic analysis in combustion and for contributions to advanced engineering science. <laughs> Nelson Martins, Assistant to the Director General, Electrical Energy Research Center, for development of dynamic analysis software tools and techniques for large electric power systems. <laughs> Masayoshi Nakashima, Professor, Disaster Prevention Research Institute, Kyoto University, for large-scale dynamic testing of buildings that has advanced structural earthquake engineering. David A. Nethercutt, Emeritus Professor, Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Imperial College, London, for contributions to structural steel design and to construction and for service to structural engineering worldwide. <laughs> Jens Norskow, Leland T. Edwards Professor of Engineering, Department of Chemical Engineering, Stanford University for theoretical approaches to design of heterogeneous catalysts linking reaction rates to microscopic catalyst properties. <laughs> G. 
Gavan Shahidi, IBM Fellow Research Division, IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center, for contributions to silicon insulator complementary metal oxide semiconductor CMOS technology. <laughs> Mark C.M. Lustrecht, Professor, Department of Biotechnology, Delft University of Technology, for the invention and development of wastewater treatment systems for nutrient removal. Martin Vetterly, Professor, Laboratory for Audiovisual Communication, Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne, for development of time frequency representations and algorithms in multimedia signal processing and communications. Okay. My last official act in this stage is to ask the members of the 2015 class to exit through the middle doors before everyone else, and also all of the anniversary uh, members that I mentioned and the MIT group, you know who we are. I need those three groups to exit the room first through, through the door. And, uh, and we're gonna try to go outside and uh, try to take a photograph on the front steps. And once those three groups have left, then everyone else may leave. We'll take a break and we'll be back at two o'clock.